I got to go to the doctor this morning. I may have mentioned to y'all before last, uh, oh, a few months ago, right after, right after my brother died, I breathed in some insulation and it got stuck in my throat. I've talked about that a few times, especially when I was, had that cold. I was coughing all the time and I could really feel it a lot. So I went ahead and made an appointment with a doctor who's uh, an ear, nose and throat kind of doctor. And that's today, uh, in about an hour and a half. So I'm going to be knocking off here pretty soon, probably before I finish that, running into town, letting them look down my throat. Oh, the joy. I know y'all all love that kind of thing. But I wanted to show you where we got to on this break thing. And I want to tell you this. For the longest time, and some of y'all might do this sometimes, for the longest time, I tried to figure out how I could not do this. Any of y'all ever see something and you think that's going to break and that's going to cause me problems, but I'm going to ignore it and hope it goes away. That's what I wanted to do here. I wanted to ignore this and hope it would go away, and it didn't, and it wouldn't. And to be honest with you, it wasn't even safe to drive it, but I wanted to. I wanted it to be. I wanted to not do this today, but I'm doing it anyway. So here's what we're looking at, or what we're going to be looking at right here. Uh, this is where the brake line goes into this thing, which connects to the rubber brake line. This is the part of the brake line that wasn't all wore out and rusted out and inside this package here this little piece of brake line right here is the part that was rusted out right where it made that turn and this is the old nipple that it went into that used to go in right here now the fix for that is to is to get me a new piece of uh brake line which i've got right here this is that really nice flexible brake line that people are raving about these days and the first thing i got to do is double um flare this wire and have this nipple right here up on that so i have to slide this up onto here double flare that and then i can put this nipple into this piece and what i'll do down here is i'll uh, I'll, I'll i'll take a piece of this new line i'll double flare both ends i'll put two nipples on there and then i can use this piece here to screw the two into these are uh, ends that are made specifically for that kind of line to go into so the challenge and i may have to cut off some more of this uh stuff here this springy stuff but the challenge to get that on there and get a double flare here which i can already tell i'm going to need more of this so i may and this stuff is a little tricky to get off what i did before is i took my grinder and i ground down the side of these springy things but the problem with that is if you grind into the if you grind into the pipe there you know you're going to be causing a problem with your pipes you got to do that really carefully but uh, that's what i'm going to be doing and i will probably go ahead and start the big challenge is going to be this piece this flare right here because uh, that is the old line and it's old steel line it doesn't work as well as this new line which is kind of a mixture of i think that's some copper and zinc and some other stuff in that. So, uh, i'm probably not going to try to uh film me actually doing that i have videos up of flaring brake lines uh and doing a double flare uh, some people have told me that on this with this new line you can get away with a single flare i don't know if i want to trust that or not it may be so but uh you know anyway let me uh i want what i'm gonna do is actually uh you know peel this off put my flare there I might go in and watch one of my own videos about last time I did a double flare just to make sure I'm getting it just right. Because I don't have a lot of, you know, line to play with. Like if I mess this up, I don't want to be cutting it and having to do it again. So that's where I'm at with that.